fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, oh, Lamb of God and man.
Psalm 117 says, Praise the Lord, all you peoples, all you Gentiles. Laud him, all you peoples, for his merciful loving kindness is great toward us. And his truth, the truth of the Lord, endures forever. And his merciful loving kindness is his commitment to his covenant, his enduring faithfulness, his enduring passion. Thank you, God. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you, God, that you, Lord, are merciful. You're kind. 
Thank you, Lord. And we worship you this morning, Lord. Your truth shall remain and shall prevail, endures forever. And Lord, we just want this morning to set you in the highest place. Lord, we come as you've commanded us to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. And we acknowledge that you are king. You are king, king eternal, immortal, invisible. The only God who is wise. And we declare, God, you alone deserve honor and glory and praise and adoration. And we lift you up in this place. And we just declare your kingdom, your lordship. Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We come with thanksgiving. There's no God like our God. And we thank you that, Lord, that when we are weak, you are strong. Lord, when we don't, we don't have enough, you have it all. And we honor you. Lord, thank you for what you're doing in this place. Thank you for the fragrance of heaven. Thank you, God, for the fire that burns. And God, as we pray, often we pray again this morning that the fire on the altar, Lord, you would come and, and breathe and stir afresh and let that fire even burn brighter, God. Lord, we just pray you are a consuming fire. You are holy. You are mighty, God. You're mighty in this place and you're mighty in us. And we thank you, God. Thank you for this incredible time in history that you've called us to be your sons and daughters. Lord, we yield to you this morning. We yield to you, Holy Spirit. We minister to you, Holy Spirit. First and foremost, we minister to you and we bless you and we offer our all. We have nothing to offer but our hearts, but we offer it, Lord, and our voices to declare your praise and to declare that which you are declaring in heaven. And so, God, come, we pray. Holy Spirit, come. Lord, throughout this week, and help us to pray prayers, the things that are on your heart, the desire of your heart, that truly, Lord, your kingdom would come and your will would be done. In the name of Jesus. Father God, you're a holy God. How can we come into your presence, Lord, unless you cleanse us, unless you wash us, Lord? Oh, Lord, wash me, cleanse me, Lord. Make me fit for your service, Lord. <sighs> cleanse my church, cleanse my nation. Make us fitting and suitable in your sight, Lord. Oh, Lord, that we could come into your presence, that we could offer thanksgiving and it would be acceptable to you, Lord. Oh, Father, you're cleansing the nations. You're shaking everything, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sorting everything out. Thank you for, for revealing your truth, Lord, for showing us how you see us, how you see the nations and what's going on. Thank you, Lord. How can we walk without understanding? How can we know what to do without any, any vision that you've given us? Surely we would just be wasting our time if we didn't know what was really going on. How could we do anything that was any, of any value? So thank you, Lord, for using us. Thank you for being our God. Thank you that we can, that we can serve you.
Father, we pray this morning for a holy restraint of uh, the darkness over North Korea. Father, as these, as the tensions are rising, God, we just pray that death and destruction would be constrained, restrained, pushed back, Lord, and that you would give, Lord, our, our leaders great wisdom. And Lord, the counsel of heaven, Lord, surround our president with counselors who would speak to him even things that are from the heart of God. Lord, we acknowledge our ways are not your ways. Your ways are not our ways. They are much higher, God, and we just yield to your ways. But we pray for the people this morning. That God, the darkness would be broken. The chains would be taken off. That, Lord, light would break out. Jesus, you are the light of the world. And we pray for freedom and deliverance and salvation for that land. Lord, we just trust you in this hour. God, help, Lord. Help the Koreans. Help them, God. Lord, let heaven break out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, we pray for just a, re <clears throat> a restraint for, for China and... Um, the Russia, Lord, that Lord, they would do nothing except that which is in the, the bounds of the will of God and the kingdom. Oh God, we just commit all this to you. This is much higher and much greater than we would even know, Lord. And we agree with that prayer. We need understanding. We need your understanding. But we do know that it's your will that none should perish. And that nations, Lord, you said that the kingdoms of this world shall become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. And so we declare your kingdom over North Korea. We declare your reign over that nation in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, that this is a nation that shall be called the, one of the nations that belong to the king. We declare it over them, Lord. And we trust you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. just ask that the nation of Korea, the United Nation of Korea, both North and South, would turn to you, Lord. Lord, we pray for an outbreak of the Holy Spirit. Lord, a hundred years ago, Christianity was planted in, the, in, the, in Korea, and it was one nation. Lord, we just pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, give them insight. Open, open their eyes, Lord. Let them go beyond rote uh, religious exercises, Lord. Give them the spirit, an outpouring of your spirit, Lord. And in the United States, we see your hand chastening the United States so carefully, Lord so prudently chastening us to wake up our nation. Father, I just pray that we would turn as a nation to you, Lord, that we as a people would realize that we've walked after false gods, that we've, we've worshipped our own wealth and our own ingenuity, and that these things are empty and can't ultimately profit us. Open our eyes, Lord. Turn the hearts of the children towards you. Raise up the young men, Lord. Our youth are looking around. They're searching for something. They're pretty sure it's not a new video game. Lord, we just ask you to move their hearts to you, Lord. Open their eyes so that they can see Jesus.
Father, cleanse this. Cleanse this nation. We are so wicked. We People that are openly wicked are in our government, throughout our government. Our government's even turned against its own people. Father, we pray for those nations in that uh, realm of the world, Lord. We pray for Vietnam, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus for an outbreak of the Holy Spirit. We pray, God, for Indonesia, God. We pray, Father, for China. God, we thank you for the church that is underground and, and on the ground working in that nation. We thank you, God, for the believers. Strong and mighty is your church in China, God. We bless them today. Lord, we pray for the Philippines. We pray, Father, for Japan, God. Lord, we ask you, God, even as, as they were once so passionate for their emperor, now they would be so passionate for the king of all kings. We pray for a move of God in that land, God, the land of the rising sun. Lord, would you rise up in Japan? Lord, let the witness of the gospel, let the truth of your son be proclaimed over that land God Lord let a great outbreak of the spirit break out in that nation and we pray Father for all of those lands Lord, Mongolia God Lord we pray for India Father we pray Father for Australia Lord the lady that was here yesterday from Australia God we pray no she was from Argentina we pray for Argentina too we pray God for revival revival to break out. Lord, we thank you for the little connection you gave us with Norway and how, Lord, that's born fruit out of a simple work of obedience. And so, God, we pray for great outbreak of revival in that in the land, God. Lord, we pray for France. We remember they're praying for their government. They're praying for their a, a righteous president, <clears throat> just a remnant of people to grabbing hold of you. We agree and we we join with them and we pray for France, that France would turn back to you, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the UK. God, what an affront to the cross to know that so few even believe in the resurrection. Of those who go to church, God, would you come as a mighty rushing wind again to that land. Stir the embers, God. Send fresh rain of the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit upon all of Great Britain and Wales, Scotland, oh God, England. Come, Lord, shake the nations. You said your truth endures forever. Let the truth of God be raised up. And we declare your kingship, your lordship, Jesus. We honor you over the nations, Mexico. Oh God, Lord, pour out your Venezuela, Lord. 
Father, we ask you to intervene with the chaos that's going on. Breathe over your church. Breathe over the believers in that land. Raise up a great witness and testimony, miracles, power breaking out in Venezuela, Lord. Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Lord. God, we ask you to breathe. Chile, Peru, Father. Thank you, Lord. Touch the nations. Touch the nations, Lord. We intercede for them, God. And Lord, we thank you for America. We pray for a mighty move of God. Lord, we believe that move has begun because you said it's finished. So now, Lord, we do our part and we rise up. God, would you cause the church in this land to be so on fire, to be so, uh, Lord, uh, passionate for Jesus. Lord, come, Lord, breathe afresh upon this nation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we declare, rise up, rise up, rise up, O oh God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, from this place, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. King of kings, Lord of lords, mighty God, mighty God.
Father God, you can commissioned your people to disciple the nations. Lord, I just ask that you would raise up mighty men and women of God to disciple these nations, to disciple our nation and Venezuela and North and South Korea. There's all these nations that have gone astray, Lord. And in particular, these nations have made a a false religion that worships man and it's called communism and Lord it's been proven over and over that this doesn't work that though they felt so comfortable they it's like ancient Israel saying give us a king they found men that would promise to supply all their needs they found men that would rule over them and take care of them and Lord, it's falling apart in Venezuela. They're so hungry, they're eating out of the garbage dumps. People are literally starving to death on the streets because of communism. They have the largest deposit of oil in the world, and yet they're starving. Their oil output is failing. 
their economy is failing. But you know all this, Lord. What I'm asking is for you to raise up workers to go into that field, mighty men and women, Lord, to go into Venezuela. Lord, I ask for a revival, not only among the poor people, but Lord, I ask for a revival of, around the middle class, the upper middle class, the people that could actually move the nation, could actually change the nation, could kick out the leadership that's in there, that's just giving one false promise after another false promise, hoping that it lasts until the end of their, their term. Oh, Father, blow on that nation. Send a mighty wind to Venezuela. Give the people hope. Lift up a standard, Lord. Show them which direction to look. Show them where their salvation comes from, Lord. They don't know. Oh. Father God, it, it's, I guess it's a little different in every nation. North Korea is in trouble too. Your, your people are, are in prison camps and being tortured and worked to death. Lord, I ask that you remove Kim Jong-un from power. Lord, show, surely the, the bowl of your wrath is, is near full or full, Lord. We, we ask for your, your righteous judgment, Lord. Remove him from power. In Jesus' name I pray. Bruce was praying that we should, asking the Lord to send people into those nations and I was thinking of Isaiah 35 it says then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped and the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the dumb sing for water shall burst forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert the parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water but before that happens this is what God put on my heart he says, strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are fearful hearted, be strong, do not fear. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. And so a people need to rise up and be strong in the Lord. The weak say, I am strong. Behold, I am strong. Father, we pray for right now the church that God, for those that have become weak, need Lord, those that uh, feel they've lost all strength. And God, they're the ones. We are, the church is called in this hour to go to these lands and proclaim the liberty of God, proclaim the kingdom and your righteousness. Lord, we pray that there would be a generation that would emerge, that would grab hold of who you are and who they are in you, in Christ Jesus. God, we say this morning to the fearful hearted, be strong, do not fear. Behold, your God is with you. Behold, your God will come. Father, we pray for the weak hands and the feeble knees that, Lord, your people would rise up. And so, Lord, we ask you to breathe on this nation. Breathe on the churches, the nations of the earth. Lord, where those are that know you, Lord. Lord, we pray, let the church arise. Let revival fire fall. God, strengthening your people, strengthening that we would rise up in this hour and go and do the will to see your kingdom come, to see revival spread across the earth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, God. Thank you for this army of righteous holiness, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord, we pray in our own church. We pray for intercessors to rise up, intercessors to be strong in this hour, in the name of Jesus. We pray for evangelists. Rise up, O oh God. Rise up. Be strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. In the name of Jesus. For teachers, rise up. Rise up. Stir. We stir the gift, O oh God. We pray, Father, for those, the prophets, the apostles, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers. God, we pray for the saints of the Most High God. Rise up. Rise up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
God, we pray even out of this place, people will rise up and be sent to the nations. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, it's happening in a slow way. We ask that it accelerate, accelerate, that a mighty army would arise with, with your name and your power, your authority, in Jesus' name. Father God, when I, I sat down and I came in, I saw these, um, they look like funnels of white cloud coming down all, all over the earth. And I sensed you said there were, there were funnels of your glory. And Father, in, in conjunction with that, I, I saw that you were going to be uncovering a number of things for your glory to really rest upon your people we have to be <clears throat> laid down lovers completely surrendered completely yielded to your spirit we just ask for grace today great grace that truly we would open up every gate to the king of glory that we would, you would birth such a passion in us, such a de desperate cry. That we would, we'd let go. You, you, you give us the grace to let go, to seek your face, to let go of self, all the works of the flesh. That Father God, you would, you would do this by the Holy Spirit. I keep seeing the early church, and when He came to this ragamuffin group you put the desperate hunger in them during those days and those were just 10 days we've been crying out all these centuries but father they turned the world upside down <clears throat> they became altogether other and we asked you to do that again they didn't, they didn't do that except you gave them that grace. You told them to wait. You told them to, to ask for the gift that our baptizer gave us. Well, Father, there's no nation that can change without the administrator, the Holy Spirit. There's no art that can change. There's no movement that's going to happen through the earth without this movement of the Holy Spirit. And so we ask you today to have mercy on us. I saw some of those funnels were coming on individuals. I, that's sort of strange, but I did. But Father, we just ask you, who, whosoever will, we ask you to grace us to yield all, to, to seek this new move of your spirit, to seek him, to humble ourselves, to pray. And Lord, you know, there's so many times I read last night about two women that D.L. Moody, he didn't have the baptism. He didn't have the power from on high. And he'd been a minister and brought many into the kingdom, but he didn't have the power. And they sat in the front row of his church, Auntie Cook and Miss Sally. <laughs> and they, he asked them one day, um, I know you're praying. I, I see you praying. What are you praying? And they said that he that he would have this power from on high. And, and it made him mad. But Father God, you put a hunger in him. You put a hunger. And he was desperate. He was desperate. And you immersed him in your spirit. And we are desperate right now. We're desperate as an individual, as a church. <laughs> We're desperate throughout the earth. There's no way these nations can change and stop this evil. It's all self. It's all hate. It's all antichrist. Without this Blessed Holy Spirit, 
And our fivefold ministry camps, they have got to be refired. They've got to be rebuilt. They've got to be immersed in your spirit. They have to be. They have to be. They have to be. We can't ask for people to go that are not consumed by your spirit. They'd be eaten alive. So, Father, we just ask you right now that you would shout such grace over us that you would come by the Spirit. Like we cannot even imagine right now. I see you uncovering so many things. Grace is to just keep our eyes on the Lord's face. As you're in uncovering, Lord, let us say, thank God that came to the light. Thank God you brought that out. And just lay down and lay down. Crown, crown. So, Father, we just welcome your Holy Spirit. You blessed third person of the Trinity. We welcome you. We welcome you. Our helper, our strengthener, our intercessor. Our teacher, our God, our helper, helper, helper. And we say, help, 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 help. Fill us, fill us, fill us. Make us so transparent that the whole world sees Jesus. Venezuela, North Korea, all of us, all we see. The Lord of glory, the King of glory. Father, do this now. Do this now. Don't delay. We sense there's an urgency. There's an urgency. There's an urgency for this birthing, Father. And today we ask it. We ask for breakthrough. We ask, Father, for this turnaround, this paradigm shift. But this what's been of the flesh would be no more. That we would be spirit beings, sons of God manifested in this earth. Vibrant firebrands, balls of fire going, going to the nations, just shattering the host of hell. And we know you're going to use the youth in a mighty way, Father. We ask you today to raise them up. Raise them up. Visit them, Father. Give them face-to-face encounters with the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you to move mightily. We ask you to fire to fall and to fall and to fall and to fall on them, Father, and bring them out of darkness and fill them with your light. Fill them with your love. Fill them with your power. In Jesus' precious name.